What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another movie reaction. This one was voted on by the patrons, and this one, it was a close battle, but it looks like we're going to be watching Princess Mononoke. This will be my second ever actual Ghibli movie walk being seen by me. I've only ever seen Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite anime movies of all time. Uh, in terms of this or spoilers, I know nothing. Going into it completely blind. The thumbnail looks like a wolf with a girl with a bloody face. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, remember, if you guys want the full uncut version of this reaction, check it out on Patreon. Links are down below. You can also vote on the next movie we're watching. Um, and come on over to the Twitch. We're watching this live. It's a great time vibing out with you guys watching stuff live. So come on over. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Princess Mononoke. Let's do it. What in the JJK looking worm curse is this? Princess Mononoke. The music's already gorgeous. Yaku. I love a lot of the character designs and the animation in Ghibli movies in general. What the hell is this? I literally... I love how its legs are like anamorphic like that. A, I would assume it's a demon god too, but it is just laying waste and destruction to anything green it touches. So it's a boar? Looks like a boss I would fight in like a Final Fantasy game. Ooh, I love how fast he can restring his bow. Ashitaka's on top of it. Shout out, shout out this tag team. Trying to reason with it. If it is an angered spirit, you know, it's not a bad idea. We tried to reason with you. You don't want to talk. So now we got to go on the offensive. He said, don't let it touch you. One clean arrow to his head. A little brain activity, maybe. Come on. Looks like we were actually able to stop it. But I'm worried that it touched Ashitaka. Yeah, I'd be pouring some holy water. I'll be doing whatever sort of religious activities I need to. That looks like it hurts like hell. We're here talking? Any reason why, good sir? As you just dissolve away? What the hell? There's nothing we can do. It's just gonna, you're gonna know my agony and hatred. One thing I love about Ghibli movies, at least from Spirited Away, is they really don't give you a lot of info. It's more like you're thrust into this world and you have to kind of figure out what's going on. Like, because there's a lot of aspects going on right now, you know? There's nothing we can do about that? I'm wondering the same thing. Is that coal? What is that? Is that a tumor? Interesting. Gotta cut our hair. That reminds me of Avatar Last Airbender. Very ceremonial for princes and royalty to have their hair in certain... Whatever you call that, buns, ponytails, you know? Now he must go on his solo journey. Very interesting start to this movie. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. Also, just like the aesthetic of a uh, old school Japan. You know? Oh my god, this is some real deal dark shit. I was not expecting arms to be chopped off. And gotta get out of here quickly. I wonder what role he's gonna play in these fights. Is he gonna help these people? His arm. Oh. Oh my god. I don't think he meant to be that strong, bro. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was not expecting the movie to get this savage. We're sniping heads off? There is a certain possession going on here. We are definitely cursed. <laughs> He's got to pretend like you don't see him and then just start booking it. I didn't realize he was one who escaped with that. 
地に進むと、山の奥のまた山奥に人を寄せつけぬ深い森。Sounds like that's where we're going. The deer god. そこでは獣は皆大きく、太古のままに生きていると聞いた。I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's the fact that I'm hungry as hell, but that slop he's eating, that gruel, doesn't doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Again with these beautiful scenic shots. Seeing those birds fly makes me want to watch the new Ghibli movie, The Boy and the Heron. The one thing I will also say about Ghibli movies is I know the English dubs for them have usually insanely stacked voice actors. So it wouldn't be a bad idea watching dubs too, you know? Keep your powder dry. Oh, they got like hand cannons? I kind of like that concept. You just mount them into the ground right next to you. Oh. The big ass wolf, man. Oh my lord. Oh. I assume that wolf died as well. She's immortal. Oh. He's starting to see the the damage from whatever battle just went on, the people who fell off that cliff. And he does see the wolf. The two cubs go to the mama. Oh, that's a That's the girl from the thumbnail. I thought that was like a spirit or something wearing that mask. Sucking and spitting out the blood. That's the thumbnail I saw right there. I really like her design with the wolf pelt with the markings on her face not even gonna say i'm so curious oh that boy's got a broken ass leg a kodama that's where i fought in kodamas in a uh, persona before The way their heads just turn like that is very creepy, I won't lie. Like, I like the concept of them, how they're sign that the woods are healthy, but the way they're crinkling and crying, like, that's creepy as hell. Wow. That one's got some antlers. Boy's looking like Hegan from Ninja Kamui with that arm. Trying to hide it. I'm curious if that's the deer god. There's so many questions I have right now of this movie. Stress, you know? Wow. Talk about a setup with the spikes outside the fence line. This is the most industrial looking place we've seen so far. I do like how they're built into the lake, built into the cliffside like that. Like imagine, imagine actually seeing villages and towns like this. Eboshi's ironworks. So this is where them who got attacked by the wolves on the mountainside were heading towards. That would make sense. That's your woman for you, you know what I'm saying? I know, just be happy he's alive. Oh, she's that kind of woman. Gotta scold everyone. Lady Eboshi, this is her place. Eboshi's ironworks. Oh, is she up there? Yeah, that was her on the mountain as well. Yeah, she was putting in real work with that shooter. Shout out her. Shout out Lady Eboshi. Tell me why when I saw the thumbnail of this movie, I thought the girl with the wolves was going to be the main character. I did not know anything about Ashitaka or that he would be our boy at all. This movie is much different than what I thought it would be. The world building is insane, though. Like, they just feel like actual lived-in villages, areas, you know? All the ladies fawning over him, come on. I 
I wonder if the deforestation is what's causing some angry spirits. That could make sense. An army of boars would be terrifying. Ironworks are kind of cool, though, how they have these, like, hand cannons. I wonder what he's thinking about. Because a giant angry boar god would definitely make me think about the curse that's going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is he going to be honest? Oh, he's... They said she doesn't care about curses. Is that iron that was found in him? Sound design is great in this movie so far. Just the constant hitting. I would be nervous as hell if I was the guy holding the spike in that for that job, you know? One miss and your arm is shattered. Iron works, especially during times like this with a giant forge like that, you know? It would be so crazy. Working the bellows. Damn, they're really making muskets. They're really making some real deal blickies. The musket ball, that makes more sense. That he's taking it out on our village. He's quite angry at that, understandably so. Whoa, he's not even doing that. His arm is doing that. Yeah, that's such an interesting concept. Is that why they're all wrapped up? I mean, they did say she doesn't care about curses. Some of them look like they're working with, like, stubs. Maybe they're amputated their limbs, you know? I like the design aspect of that. What the fuck are those things? Oh, so they just want their mountain back. This is very interesting. I did not expect this movie to be about deforestation. Who sold the wolves stole. Interesting. That's Princess Mononoke. Now I'm curious how Ashitaka is going to play into this. Is he going to help them? Is he going to be on the side of the spirits? Is he going to talk to Princess Mononoke? That person you're trying to meet is on her way right now. I do not like the feeling of this because I have a feeling she and the wolves are not afraid to kill these people ruining their forest, you know? Not the first time she's done this either. Makes much more sense why they have the fenced and spiked moat oh as it launches her up very cleanly done i like also how the hand cannon can be used as a blunt weapon she is clean with it though love the i love her design I love the concept of her. Ashitaka, you gotta watch out, my boy. You could get caught up in this crossfire. Yup, just like that. She's barrel rolling down. Whoa there, girly. I love the sound. I, I love the entire sound design of this whole movie. Whether it's the muskets, that was okay. Ebo, she is clean with it. I love the way they animate that. <laughs> like, they're not physically there, but you can see, like, it's so interesting. Okay, knocked her out. I thought he fucking slashed her for a second. Knocked them both out. That was the best way to deal with this while keeping Mononoke alive as well. This sword is fire too. 
This whole design, Ashitaka's is fire. Oh my lord. That was an accident, but it still went right through his chest. And it's not stopping him in the slightest. He has a curse and does not care. I do respect the, a lot of the attitude the villagers have towards him, you know. Actually, talk is really different right now. As he's gushing blood, sliding in it. The strength of 10 men. Like the Zoldic Gate and Hunter Hunter. And I love how, even though we just developed a, a really cool relationship with this village, he has no allegiance. Like, he's really in it for his people and himself being cured. He thinks they're doing something wrong. He thinks there's hatred and demons on both sides, which I like. He's really like a, like he says, unclouded eyes. He's a third party. He, the blood loss is getting to him though as it as it should Doc was like hey if he's not here get off of me I did not know they could talk and have dope deep ass voices like that give us man give us man and go we eat man? No. No, sir. This is so interesting, I won't lie. Just the flow, like, just those shots of this flowing grass, you know? So, I don't want to say unnecessary, but you don't need that. And it's, it just looks gorgeous, you know? The clothes flowing, the hair flowing. Is that the mother of all beasts? Loki looks like a Kingdom Hearts villain. What the hell? Looks like Aang when he fused with the spirit of the ocean in the North Pole. This is the man who was who helped us out with the gold long, long ago. The Nightwalker. Oh. That could have been the deer we saw walking with the multi antlers. Those do look like free flowing antlers. Super interesting. I love how life just sprouts where it walks and then dies. Is it just a circle of life permanently? Such an interesting design. Such an interesting design. That was not what I was expecting in the slightest. Love the way they animate. The deer god, especially in the water and the nighttime, just like a free flowing entity of energy. It looks like maybe he healed our wound. I'm I'm hoping so. We don't know it was him that did it though. Did he cure us of our curse too? Or do we have to deal with a koto for that? Nope, it's spreading. Getting even worse. So it's just her that can speak with animals. That's why we can hear the wolves talk when she's talking to him. Wow. I would love to hear y'all cool talk. Looks like some solid beef jerky. What flavor do you think that is? Teriyaki? Or is that tree bark? <laughs> I can't tell. Mm, she's like a bird. Forcefully chewing up. Make it so he eats and digests that. Definitely does need some nutrients right now. We know she's not afraid to get down and dirty. She was sucking the blood out of Mama Wolf, you know? Uh-oh. This is not a good sign. She is son, my daughter. That's a fair point. I like this concept of different animal tribes and areas, you know? Not save Nago. 
Oh. That's what I'm saying with the walking around the circle of life. It looks like life is being made and then taken at the same time. Is Nago the boar from the beginning who got cursed? Yep. It's the iron musket ball. It would make sense. This movie is just so different from what I was expecting. Did not expect this movie to be about deforestation and animals fighting back against human development, you know? I would have looked at animals much differently if I grew up and had seen this as a child. Does the deer god also talk? Do we have a conversation with it? Such an interesting design. We're fighting some samurai. The ironworks. Definitely very strong. Oh my, that dude's arm got blown off. It will pierce armor exactly like she said. I really enjoyed the animation of the smoke, the muskets, the fire. Like, even though it's obviously an animated movie, it feels so real. You can see the recoil, like it's... It's a lot going on fighting other men, other lords, the deer god, the emperor. That's what I'm curious. How is this movie going to end? Do the humans lose? Do the humans win? In real life, we know the humans are winning, you know? Very interesting. There's the ironworks setting up shop right on the mountain. I wonder what they're what they're doing with the smoke. Are they purposefully like smoking out the forest. Crackers smoke, filling their senses. There she is. This is about to be real deal humans versus nature, which was the last thing I was expecting this movie to be, but hey. Gotta have the fresh war paint. Tension is most certainly rising. God damn. If this was pure just like steel to hoof this would be different but the ironworks the hand cannons make it so much more difficult what's going on here is asano attacking here while the boars fight the main forces yeah little do they know the women are more fighters oh yeah we haven't had our bow in forever I like how they have their little peak holes outside of the log fencing. That's actually kind of cool. Looks like you can't avoid fight after all. You're going to have to kill some samurai. Time to let the curse take over. I love that shot. Oh my god, there goes homeboy's arm. Still on his fucking... Oh, wow. Ashitaka is him. Not the blow darts. Some slick dodges. Good shit, people. W mans. The fact that they were the first ones we saw attacking the wolves and now they're helping helping us free them now we can get to eboshi and we can save the village feels like we're getting to the climax of this movie how this is all going to be dealt with is going to be shown in here just in a little bit either she kills the deer god she dies are these dead boars oh no these are the human scouts 
These are zombie boars. Uh, those, I think those are human scouts just laying underneath boar pelts. Yeah. The way they just slither is so creepy. Oh no, we got another demon coming. Oh god. Yep, and that's confirmed these are humans. Knocked her out. Hey, Ashitaka. This is like the worst possible thing that could happen. The way they animate that is so just creepily disgusting. The tendrils and everything. Its eyes just wide open. All right, wolves, you guys want some dinner? Go ahead. I'm willing to do whatever to save this girl. Shout out, Ashitaka. Well, there's the deer god. Oh, this is getting crazy. Yeah, messy is the best way to describe this fight. There's... Oh, like, this is crazy. Now we got Moro also doing whatever it takes to protect Mononoke. Taking the curse full front on, knowing she's gonna die. Can we hear it talk or do something crazy? Like, I have no idea what's going on. Oh. Oh, it's not dead. Imagine that we just kill God just like that. I love how even the water, it's like a physical step to it. Like, it's gotta rise. Like, that's so interesting. It doesn't even respond to Eboshi shooting it. He was able to get Mononoke out of there. The way this shit looks like black tar heroin right now. Little peck on the on the nose. Just like that, Akoto is dead, I assume. Moro also. That's the thing with the deer god, it gives life and death. Chico knows it's about to get big soon. I love the way that's like animated. Like it goes from like a like a physical form to like a fluid energy like energy, you know. Can't get your flint to go off, huh? Oh. Is it just... Is it just shedding the ethereal body it had? What the hell is going on? Now it's pure fluid. It's, it'll suck the life out of you. What the hell? It's really the head of the deer. What the? They said a, a wolf's... A decapitated wolf's head can still bite. What the hell is going on? This is feeling like reincarnated as a slime or some shit. Is that Boshi gonna die? What in the hell? Both sides think Ashitaka's on the other side. He's just on his own side. He just wants peace. It really looks like the Nightwalker dark form without its head. Just gonna be spreading darkness and destruction everywhere. His head is trying to break out of there. Bro, what the hell happened? This movie is the nothing of what I expected from it. That dude is almost butt naked, bro. Imagine getting caught off guard while you're taking a shit or something. It's the colossal titan of the forest. Exactly. Look at this thing. Bruh! Imagine you see her rumbling, rumbling, oh, rumbling. Touch that muck and you're dead. The water will protect you, though. He's not lying. You heard the man. Shout out Toki. 
Yeah, um... I'm not gonna lie, I don't want anyone to die, but I do kind of want to see what happens to people who get sucked in by the muck. The gooey gooeyness. They still got the head? Bruh! You're gonna take the head to the Emperor, who wants it, and you're gonna bring the Colossal Titan of Darkness with you. Like, just give it the head back. This is not gonna work out. Uh, I didn't think about the sun. Jiko's about that life. You're so lucky that rock was there, otherwise you are dead, Jiko. And now you're officially surrounded. That's so weird. Just this entire movie's concept. Like Miyazaki, bro. What kind of drugs did they have back in the day? Because I need some of that shit. They're willing to take on the brunt of this curse to return it. Now that the deer god's head has been reconnected. Looking a little more blue, a little less black. Hopefully that's good. I see y'all cool. As long as y'all cool and Mononoke and Ashitaka make it out. Everyone else could actually, I like Toki. I don't want the women of the Iron Village to die. Everyone else pretty much. I'm cool with them dying. As the sun comes up, he should turn back into his dear god form. Like, at what point do you, do you, do you just see, like, some deforestation happening near him? And was like, you know what? This would make a fire-ass movie. How, like, how does someone come up with a concept such as this? As you can see, the greenery returning back to the landscape. It's a great shot. That could be a wallpaper low-key right there. Are they alive? Good. Doesn't look like the curse is all over their bodies. Maybe he cured them. Whoever's hitting those pianos, hitting it, man. Really? You get kind of new, you know, poetic. He's life and death. I can't tell if that means it's gone. It looks like it was cured. Like, it looks like that's just like the scarring or the remnants, you know? Oh. They're both going to live their independent lives but never forget each other and be in each other's hearts always. I'll be honest, I thought they were going to live together. Just respect nature, man. If you can gather one thing from this movie, that's a good way to sum it up. Is that the end of the movie? Ah, damn, man. Oh, wow. What do I even say? I know lots of people in my chat while I was watching this said how they grew up on this movie and it's one of the first animated movies they watched, but I gotta say, I'm happy I watched it as an adult. Like, obviously, the animation, the music, the characters are really well written and really well done, so like anyone of any age can enjoy this, but there's so much nuance here when it comes to man versus nature when it comes to the evolution of man and the political socio economics of a developing nations villages tribes stuff like that where it's like how that co-mingles with nature and old traditional views of the world like it's this got deep man like i said i'm gonna take some days to process this movie but i need to know what drugs miyazaki was on back in the day to come up with something like this because this I'm not gonna lie, I thought the entire movie would be about Mononoke, because, you know, she's the face of it, stuff like that, but Ashitaka is a legend, Yakul's a legend. I was not expecting Jiko to be the main villain, or... See, it's like, it's, not, it's all perspective. To some, he's just doing it, you know, it's like, it's crazy, but yeah. To summarize it in one sentence, just respect nature. Just, you know, you respect it, it will respect you. There's a, there's a harmony, there's a balance, there's a cycle to stuff like this, you know? Even ironworking in general, defying, defiling the mountain, you know, taking down the trees. And I love how even though there's insane world building, they don't shove it down your throat in a good way, if that makes sense. Like we hear about there's the tribe of the apes, there's the tribe of the boars, there's the wolf tribe, the moral tribe. And it's like, they could give us a 20 minute dialogue session of just describing the tribes where they come from their leaders this that and the third but like 
it just expects you to get it man like this this movie oh wow there's a lot of in the animation for it coming out in 97 i was born in 96 the animation the music like i said so much of this movie holds up to this day very well very well i love me some old school animation personally but overall w movie thank you guys for watching if you like this please leave a like on it let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section check out the patreon if you guys want the, the full uncut version as well as to vote on the next movie i'm going to be watching i don't know if i'm going to be going another ghibli one i might take a little break and then do like a ghibli one every third or every other one you know because there's a lot i still have to do the only ones i've seen besides this are spirited away and bits and pieces of ponyo just from this recommended on hbo i see howl's moving castle my neighbor totoro kiki's delivery service castle in the sky nausicaa there's grave of the fireflies which i've heard i'm gonna cry during there's the new one the boy and the heron the Wind Rises, Porco Rosso, Arietti, Whist like there's so many, like there's a reason there's such a renowned movie studio, but I'm gonna let you guys decide on the next movie I do. So I appreciate y'all, check out that Patreon. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them, cause you never know when the dear God's gonna come after them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.